we were in a fix. What do you do with your country's regalia when it's in your possession and you don't know? We believed that the time has, had come to deliver it up, but we had no one to deliver it to. We chose Arbroath because it was in Arbroath in 1320 that the Scottish nation affirmed its, its nationality again by sending a letter to the Pope, who was the United Nations of these of the time. And it contains these remarkable ones. For we fight not for glory, not for riches, not for honours, but only and alone for freedom, which no good man gives up, but with life itself. And we thought that our broth, with these words in our ears, was the appropriate place to deliver the stone of destiny up to the Scottish nation. And I remember looking down the long nave after we had placed it there, seeing it lying there under the salt tire, and then having to turn my back on it, going away. I remember vividly the, uh, the custodian of the abbey, the Ministry of Works, as it then was. He was, an old, to me, an old gentleman uh, called Wishart. And uh, he was absolutely dumbfounded. And then he had his photograph taken standing beside the, uh, the stone of destiny. Now, I'm sure he would tell his grandchildren about, uh, about that day.